Hey, 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 guys, we're looking at AMD for September 28, 2021. Hopefully, you're all doing good on this Tuesday, and let's get right into it. So, beginning of the day, AMD, if we tried the um, method where we tried to feed off momentum and make a small gain, we would have been wrong. So, normally, I place my buy order just above the pre-market five-minute candlestick, which would have been at 107.08, and I don't normally just cash out for a few pennies. I normally wait for five the next five-minute candle, and as you can see, I would have been wrong, but we always set, set our stop loss at a reasonable um, risk management amount or price target to where uh, we don't lose too much so as you can see from the beginning of the day it was just downhill city um, 5 10 15 20 20 minutes of um, trending down and then there was a kind of a pullback um just to continue to drop again and i know a lot of people are thinking may amd is not a good stock to invest in or whatnot but the good thing about AMD, in my opinion, it's a good long-term um, investment strategy, meaning not long-term like a year, two years. I don't do that stuff, but long-term as in a, a week, maybe two weeks at the most. And you just have to be patient. Patience is a virtue. So if you look at the last five days, let's just take a quick look at what I'm trying to, the point I'm trying to make. Um, as you can see, the last five, six days, it started trending up, doing real well, had a little dip, but reached as high as, well, I'm not going to um, believe this quick. I don't understand this stuff like this pre-market. It went as high as 108.42, right? So you could say, um, I'm going to wait another day or two to hopefully see if this price gets back down to 108, I'm 101.18, somewhere around there. And this is a stop that is in it for the long haul. It's not going to continue to trend down. It's going to give you a, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but like a roller coaster type, mo type motion. It's going to have this, mo it's moments where it's up and it's down. So the key is to catch it when you feel like it's at its bottomest right before it retraces and go back up. And I feel like 102 might be around that price. Maybe I wouldn't put all my, um, full position I put half and just in case it goes down to 101 I put the other half that would probably average me somewhere in the middle this way I can catch it um, once it goes back up and make some profit but I do not think this is a bad stock and just because it's um, negative for the day it might not be a good day trading stock but it's a um, it shows opportunity for a bid at a lower price to eventually wait it out to sell at a higher price so i'm, I'm liking amd um, right now i'm not too sure the news that's driving this let's just take a quick look i see 10 information technology stocks with unusual options why amd amd sales shares are falling shares of company in the broader spec Trump are trading lower amid a rise in bond yields. Uh, why this analyst sees 15% upside potential correction, shares and company. Um, applied material stock is trembling, tumbling after getting downgraded. So the stock was downgraded. Uh, CEO is seeing chip shortage easing in 2022. So we do have some bad um, news that's coming out, which is probably driving this, which makes sense. But none of that stuff is really like, in my opinion, hardcore to stay. That's like temporary stuff that um, they can fix. So, yeah, I would more so see the stock as an opportunity to buy at a lower price and then wait, even if it means two weeks, just to sell at a higher price. But, you know, use your best judgment, uh, use all your indicators and make sure you don't um, bet too much that you're not willing to risk losing and you set your stop loss. But yeah, that's the review for AMD for the day. Um, hopefully you guys are doing well and I will check you out on the next video. Bye.